you know, I love the shawarma in New York so much and I have to be loyal to that. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Michelin star chef Vikas Khanna. You're watching Dubai Live and we are sitting at Kinara restaurant at J Resorts. He's the most uh, normal chef I've met and you know when we say normal it's like Ricardo Namzi is not <laughs> come down fit into the status of being normal when you see him on television it looks like so entertaining there's so much going on but in real life he's an extremely focused chef you know his first job was at an Indian restaurant and he started working out in, in England and he was opening his restaurant in New York, the London restaurant, Ramsey restaurant, what he opened. He got two stars from the Times. And that time, you know, I was working in his kitchen and we did some trials of some dishes. And he is one of the most brilliant and one of the best learner I have met in my life. He never swore at me because he knows it that, you know, I have I come from different school of thought process and I'm not the one who needs to be heard to be loud. And he knows that, you know, and I've worked for him for many, 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 many projects, many tests. <laughs> and yeah, I'm fun, yes, of course. But that's his language. What do you mean by that? Swearing is... <laughs> that's what he talks, that's what he talks. <laughs> I think there's so many great restaurants and you see so many chefs who are trying their best to put their foot forward here. I love the local cuisine more than I think the, 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 the transported restaurants in some ways because I think they have more soul and, and every time you're traveling to the old part of the city and you find this small hole in the wall and you fall in love with that food again and it could be Lebanese or it could be like from the local people here or a small place in Abu Dhabi or these things have really inspired me for the last few years of the local foods of this city. I'll share you something very funny. On, on May 13th, 2012, we were cooking for President Barack Obama. It was a, a re-election campaign. And while I'm in the kitchen, the guy comes and tells me, saying, oh, chef, the homeland security and the president security, they're creating a lot of problem. I said, why, what happened? He's saying, you cannot use glassware anymore. I said, but they didn't inform us. So imagine, we have all the glassware, but before the president comes, you have to remove all the glassware. <laughs> I'm like, this, is, this can't be real, like, you know, he's saying, oh, then the security guys, oh, we send you every detail and you responded that everything will be done. I said, I don't read emails. I, <laughs> and we had to remove every piece of glassware from the, from the museum. It was hosted at the museum. And we had to remove that because before the president walks in, all the glassware has to go. I've been working on Kinara for almost two years and this is with JA Resorts. Absolutely love the new property. Even the road map towards leading to this restaurant was almost sacred to me. The design, the subjects, the concept and how we would design the menu. And we were very focused that we do not want to do something which takes away the soul of the food. So anything you come and eat here, you'll feel that sense of, it is very attached to Southeast Asian flavors. But we also want to be very true to the integrity of the cuisine. Yet, at the same time, we want to make sure that it looks like something which you might have never seen before. What would I say would be my signature dish here? I think many dishes are very close to my heart here, very close to my heart. And most of the menu is original. I think we, we, are doing, we have a dish which is uh, kebabs, which everybody responds right away. But the kebabs are not of any meat or vegetables. It's made out of just yogurt. My reason to do that dish was that, you know, in, in Middle East or in, even in India, we are so obsessed that the kebabs means just one type. But here what you're going to eat is something which is going to be an unforgettable experience. I would have loved to cook for a favorite person on the planet and that's Nelson Mandela. I never got a chance. We were trying to fix so much. I wanted to cook for Steve Jobs. I love, absolutely love everything he says about human evolution and sensibility of art. And I couldn't cook for him because he wasn't well. And But yes, it, a lot of unfinished dreams. I want to cook for Philip Petit from uh, the guy who was a rope walker. Yeah. I am obsessed with his work. 
<laughs> I remember when the, when this eater came up with this poll and they said you're the hottest chef in New York. I said, what does it mean? I cook the spiciest food. And like, I, I don't know what that means. I have no reference. It's like, no, this is a tag for you. Now you have to stick with that tag. And I'm like, okay, I'll stick with. But what does it mean? Uh, is Indian food hot, spicy? You think no? Just the hot. It's it's hot right now. You know, I love the shawarma in New York so much and I have to be loyal to that. <laughs> I love it that what the people from this part of the world have done in America of representing the cuisine and culture and I think shawarma and kebabs, when, when the moment it says it's coming from this part of the world, we blindly follow it and I, I think they have not done pretty well just in the city, they've done well around the world because we know it's a healthy way of eating and it's also a way forward. In a lot of the cuisines we are still find, finding the balance of health versus taste. While this culture had dominated and has been doing it for centuries. Thank you so much for watching me on Dubai Lad. I've been asked to tell you that you need to subscribe right now. <laughs>